Hi guys, my name is Mircea. Um, I am a chef and I'm trying to make a new project. See how it goes, the drunk chef. This means that before cooking, uh, I'm going to drink, I don't know, maybe a bottle and a half of this wine. Uh, and we'll see the difference between now and the time I'm going to be drunk. Uh, we're going to take a breathalyzer test as well to see what's uh, the, can the, the level, uh, the alcohol concentration in my, in my blood. So we'll see you again after the first bottle. Hi guys. This is Mircea back. I just finished the first wine bottle. So now I'm going to start the second one. But before starting this wine bottle, I'm going to breathalyze myself and show you how drunk I am at this point. Hopefully it's above the limit and above the legal, above the law, how you can say. So I'm going to turn this shit on which it doesn't turn on because the battery is no it just turned on finally I was afraid that the batteries went zero zero off I don't even know how to say it anyway so three two one blow almost lost my breath so it's 199 BAC which I don't know what it means but we can see that he is it's here 995 milligrams per liter of blood so here it says danger it's danger to drive probably it's danger to do anything operate heavy machinery I suppose <laughs> so we are going to continue I'm going to open the second, bo second bottle of wine we have to go above that I am feeling tipsy I'm there but not there yet so let's see what it happens after this small glass after I finish this I'm going to come back breathalyze me again and see how it goes and then I'm going to recite a poem an English poem they say if I can recite that I can speak better English than most of 90% of English speakers that means mother tongue speaking English <laughs> that means <laughs> I'm drunk so see you in a few bye it's more than enough come on come on We smash it. Jamie Oliver would, would say that he doesn't need to peel the garlic because there is no time. Really? Oh my fucking god. If you. Now I'm drunk. I smashed the garlic in the wrong bowl. <laughs> that means to be. I don't know. In usual terms, fucked up. A bit of garlic. We have added salt. We've added Rasel Hanut, which is a mix coriander, cumin, uh, some cinnamon. It's very, very, very nice and flavorful.
we're going to add some chili to it because when you're a bit tipsy you need chili chili is a catalyzer a bit of parsley it's fragrant and nice nice what does it mean nice we don't even know it's going to be rich some people would say <laughs> rich in what it's going to be rich okay we turn on the oven whatever I have high heat mix the meat thoroughly some would say and at some point the kebab needs to be put on a skewer but because my gr griddle pan it's very high it wouldn't work so I have some skewers metal skewers like this but they don't work so fuck this shit and we're going to make something like a sausage everything feels so natural making a sausage look at this <laughs> anyway it looks nice and it's going to be it's going to taste beautiful it's going to be full of flavor because we have I can't even speak I can't speak we're above the legal <laughs> legal limit of drinking but anyway we keep going I have to be a warrior this looks like something I would say this is not hard yet <laughs> it's not hard yet <clears throat> it's not hot yet my hands are full of grease I'm going to wash them a towel is needed I have no words at this point anyway when you're feeling drunk you need you need you feel like eating something very greasy and very very rich so I believe a kebab a lamb kebab it's fucking fantastic at this point <clears throat> I'm using words that, that they shouldn't be used anyway waiting for this to get hot because you can't use a, 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 a get over it you can't use a cold pan it has to be piping hot so in the meantime you're going to get another sip of wine because this is what you need at this point to, I don't know, recover? no, not to recover you need something to refresh yourself and because you've started with wine another sip of wine would be fucking fantastic so now it feels we're almost there we're going to start with the dressing it's going to be a yogurt dressing because if it's going to be dry you can't eat it and if anyone needs something juicy fatty you know to 
to get over this feeling of drunkness because everyone after they drink and they have a, a very long night of parties they go to cheapers to b b b to shops that make greasy foods kebabs b b fish and chips and so on so we need the sauce for this so we have yogurt we're going to add again a bit of chili knife this is the knife <laughs> finely chopped we're going to add a bit of mint and parsley as well mint some parsley thank god i prepared all of it otherwise i wouldn't know how to open it from the from the packet how do you open a baguette <laughs> baguette <laughs> how do you open a bag of mint and parsley while drunk i don't even know and you know what's going to happen there is another thing it's going to be very fucking smoky i don't know if i everyone is going to see me when i'm going after i'm going to put the kebabs on the on the on the on the grill it doesn't matter we'll go through it bear with me a bit of salt a bit of olive oil i wanted to say olive juice but it's not olive juice it's olive oil although who can argue with me oil juice it comes from an olive you squeeze it so it's kind of a juice mix very well and i think the griddle pan it's almost there i'm going to start the extractor hopefully it's not going to go into my microphone i'm going to open the back door because it's going to be okay so one don't ever ever put oil on the griddle pan the lamb has enough fat to grease the need for any addition my wife was right <laughs> meaning it I can't speak anymore if I am going to cook drunk it means I'm going to swear a lot and fuck has his base placed how do you say it it's so hard to talk right now anyway this is going on and we have to keep everything clean otherwise i don't know something is going to happen something chaos chaos is going to happen if this board is not going to be clean and because i am a chef anything everything not anything everything has to be clean otherwise inspectors are going to come and question me about the clean, 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 cleanliness <laughs> of the workplace so everything is clean towel is clean we're going going to get some tongs as you can see night is falling down smoke is over all over the place
And to show you how drunk I am, I'm going to drink another, I'm going to take another sip. And there is a poem, I don't, I don't think I'm going to recite all of it. But they say, if I am able to recite this poem exactly, I'm going to speak better English than 90% of the na <laughs> native English speakers in the world. I don't think that's possible ever. So, this goes. Dearest cre creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse, sounds like corpse, corpse, horse and worse. Make your head with heat grow dizzy, tear in eye, your dress will tear. Show I, sh so shall I, or oh, hear my prayer. Just compare heart, beard, and herd. Dies and diet, Lord and word, oh my fucking God. Sword and sword, retain and Britain. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plague and Eig. But be careful how you speak, say brick and steak, but bleak and streak, cloven oven, how and low, script, receipt, show, poem and tow. What the very fuck? We turn over. Our lamb kebabs, and we go on. This poem doesn't make any fucking sense, and there is so much smoke everywhere. So much smoke. We have to get it out because this is a project, and I don't really know what to do to get the smoke out of the room Jesus fuck I just made listen I just made how do you say it not a poem you make a tell me loud voice I can't hear you right. rhyme I just made a fucking rhyme everyone knows there is someone behind the camera anyway I made a rhyme Not very good, but exactly when I needed it. So, these are frying. So I'm going to show you. Yeah, have a sip, have a sip. <laughs> the cameraman is getting drunk with me as well, because this is the point of the video. I mean, I'm a chef, I'm getting drunk, I'm cooking, hopefully, and I hope it's not going to get that bad. <gasps> Shit, I forgot something. I had to put some pistachio in the fucking meat. Now what? We put it in the wrap. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. It's already toasted, so I think it's going to work. Who the fuck cares? We go on with the video. What do you think? Is it good? It works. So, this is going on. We have to get down the wraps. This is me. We have the fella that's behind the camera. And another guy that wanted to be in the video, but is going to be behind the video. <laughs> it sounds funny. This is like opening, I don't know, canister with 
with oil with with diesel come on my car can't open this bag so it's open so people say we need to have a fucking plate to play that fucking thing so I'm going to take a plate kebab needs to be turned over my god it looks fucking amazing char grilled char grill whatever it's char grilled and it's exactly how we want it we have the wrap I don't know what to do with this towel we put it somewhere I don't know where I found a place anyway a bit of the miraculous substance that keeps us going through one day to another although some of the people I know they don't fucking drink can you fucking believe it it's unreal and I know people that don't drink they don't really drink And I have a fucking cat that makes so fucking much noise. He wants, because he eats a he, it's a cat, it, it's a male. <laughs> he wants to come in the house, not the place for him. Looking for the tongs, got them. We are almost there. Turn this fucking really. I'm making a video. Give me a break. <laughs> this is what I need right now. So, this is almost done. We're going to start plating the dish. So first of all, a bit of green salad on the middle, tear it up. I have some pickled cabbage, which I made earlier. The pickle liquor, because first of all, I wanted to say it's a pickle juice, but it's not a real, a, really a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I took out the cat outside. Yeah, bear with me. It's not pickle juice, it's pickle liquor. So it's equal quantities of vinegar, sugar, and then water. Boil it and put it on top of the uh, shredded red cabbage. Then add some cumin seeds, coriander seeds, peppercorns, leave it there for like about half an hour, an hour, and it's going to get absolutely magic. So, then you put this, oh my god, it's so good, it's so good without a cat, but it's so fucking smoky. We have to open the door, otherwise we are going to choke with fucking smoke. Anyway, he's back again. He's back again, more strong. It's so strong. Anyway, getting back to what we're doing. We did a yogurt dressing. It's a yogurt sauce dressing. Call it however you want. It doesn't fucking matter right now the problem exactly 
show the motherfucker to the world we need this in our rap because we need to be rich chefs say a dish is rich so in it because it's lamb and because I forgot being drunk We put a pistachio on top here. have to sit it properly here otherwise it's not going to work take this off of fire this is going to go for Madeline that's behind the camera and this for his friend that's watching anyway things are going good Stopping this fucking fan. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is silence. This is bliss. This is fucking bliss. Anyway, this is assembled. Am I at the right point? I'm good. People are in the back saying this is good. So, yeah, sleeve up. open it oh my god this is so fucking fatty and this is this looks so juicy this is fucking perfect do i have a towel i have it i have it i remembered i remembered i have it here where is my mic receiver doesn't matter anyway so having the proper the proper kebab you have to close it well otherwise it's going to go and drip on your lap and this is not acceptable <coughs> speak properly i'm not going to try to go to that verse whatever because I, I i don't i'm barely able to speak as it is doing a, 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 a poem is going to be hilarious if i think about it probably i should do it but at this point i don't really give a flying fuck about it so here we have the kebab sometimes it's made with lamb on a skewer pieces of lamb with uh, vegetables and put on the grill and then assembled as this in a wrap but I believe this is the best choice with min slam because you have you can control the, the fatness of the stop scratching your fucking <laughs> your head anyway I think I, I believe we're at the end of this video so give me one second Mm. 
This is amazing. The fun fact is, again, the more you drink, the more fucked up you are. I don't know, but this is something I want to share with you guys. So, in the last, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 seconds, it doesn't fucking matter. I feel so filled up. I was looking for a towel. Oh, I fucking got it. I had a breathalyzer. What the fuck is it? I got it. So, we turn it on. Turn on for fuck's sake. A bit greasy. It doesn't fucking matter. We have six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm out of fucking breath, really? No fucking way. It's the same. That means this is fucking shit. I mean, I had another glass of wine. It doesn't matter, I had a bite to it. But it's the same alcohol concentration in the, in the blood. Anyway, this being said, in this bombshell, as they, as other people would say, we finish.